Hey, how are you today? It's Remo back. We are out on the new map I've been working on, which is uh, Halliburton Highlands. Today I've chosen to take out the uh, Kotko Canyon, appropriately named for where we're crossing right now. More than anything, I just wanted to uh, show you all that uh, it's going to be a good, tough, challenging map and still vanilla friendly, although it's going to be a battle, I'm sure. But I have uh, definitely have done some testing with vanilla trucks just to kind of give it that feel. I know there's a lot of folks that like the vanilla vehicles. They're actually pretty good in this game. At least I, I, I quite enjoy this truck. Basically set it up. We got max everything. Crawling suspension. Crawling uh, transmission. Best motor. Threw in all the uh, repair and fuel points and all that just to make it look good and uh, just uh, the uh, Yar 2 mud tires because they looked cool maybe not the best for the rock traction struggling a little bit here but uh, I just wanted to take this thing and really run it through some paces this is the update is coming out or will be out when you watch this and there it's a big update I've done a whole bunch of rock work we're gonna go most of the way across it in this video uh, not all the way but uh, done it quite a bit of work if you've seen any of the time-lapse stuff with the swamps really we're probably about 70% done building the map and the most time-consuming part is most definitely throwing down rocks here we got a spot we're running into a bit of an issue don't want to winch if I don't have to. This might be a spot, and I guess I'm kind of on the fence if it does much, although there, drop the pressure and we're moving a little bit easier. A little bit of damage. It's going to be some tough spots. I picked the crawling suspension and I'm wondering if I should have just got the high suspension. There is quite a few logs spread in around here and stuff like that for good winch points, but I am sure there's going to be spots where all you can get is bushes. Really going for a tough technical drive on the, these trails, and there is quite a bit of this rocky area. Like, I'm going to lay in a couple trails. I haven't done any but this main, but the whole area you can drive. So if you just want to explore and when ultimately when tasks come to this map and I am going to join it into a region with uh, Beaver Creek, there will be stuff to do up here that you're going to have to find your own way. I kind of want to mix Snow Runner and Expeditions in that sense. I do want to have a few trails around the map. But when the mission system is working for everyone and I start adding in missions to these, they're, you're definitely going to be doing some exploring. And I figured some of the spots like this, you may want to even use the drone when you're kind of looking around for rocks. Don't quite have the clearance here. We're going to have to go through at an angle. Got a big bumper this thing. Probably one downfall. It's not tippy, but it's definitely feels like it could tip fairly easy. I, I can't believe we're not going over here. Look at that, we settled it back down. I don't think we're out of the woods here yet. Definitely adds to the challenge using a uh, vanilla truck, 100%. I know there's some of the mod trucks that are very vanilla build, like the Patrol in my last video. I quite like the feel of that uh, from F19. But it does add to it because the vanilla trucks are just that little bit less suspension travel. And 
And again, I should have just got the high suspension, not crawl. Although maybe we would have went over back there if I had the high suspension and not quite as much flex. Pretty impressed with this little truck though. And I'm happy with the feel of this map. Just driving through it and really just up here is about as far as I've actually looked at it in game. The rest of it I've just kind of finished up in the last couple days. This is what I was kind of wanting to finish up before I released it. Tires are actually surprisingly decent rock traction with this thing. It's pretty fun to try and pick away up here. Oh jeez. And we better go with it into the ditch. See if we can, I don't think we're getting over that rock. I think we're gonna have to back out. Reline up. Definitely felt like I could have flipped it a couple times now, but it seems to just be stable enough. And pretty much anywhere along here, you can get some pretty cool views with the cliff sides. I am going to put some camping spots up here eventually. This little spot, I like the look of it. I can't quite make the corner with my diff lock. But I don't think I'll make it up the hill without the diff lock. This spot looks like it's going to be tougher than it looks. Oh, not too bad. The real bad ones are when you get two ledges stepped out, so your front tires on the upper level and your back tires on the lower level hit at the same time, and then you're pretty much out of luck. Now this is going to be a pretty sketchy spot up in here, or at least that's what I was designing it. We're right along a pretty good sheer cliff. And this stuff shouldn't be leaning off the cliff, but it's going to have a bit of a tip. And I literally haven't driven down this yet. This is just the way I was trying to do it. And it's really kind of hard to get up on top to go around it. Oh, jeez. No, well, we're good. Oh, this is a little tense. We're sliding, we're sliding. Oh. I guarantee we're gonna see people go off of that rock. I'm not changing it. You guys saw me. I got through. Not changing it. Good luck. We're well into new territory here. And again, if you go to the other side of the map, you're into swamps and lakes and so on. And then anyone else do that constantly is hit Y as if you're playing SnowRunner and turn your truck off. I do it all the time. But yeah, if you head out to the other side of the map, you're going to be into a whole different set of terrain uh, experiences. And then we have this big mountain that's kind of in the middle of the map lots of rivers like this it's just should be a really fun explore around just kind of play see what your vehicles can do obviously i haven't put a good winch point around here i picked the offline winch i probably should have picked the extended i don't know it's pretty easy to roll over here at least you have a chance with offline right I'll keep it in mind though, I really do try to put at least some fallen stuff that give you something to grab onto on most tough spots. This didn't look like it was going to be this tough in the editor. It's going to have to come at it at a different angle I think. Maybe we'll try flooring it once, then we'll see. Just go. 
we don't flip over. <laughs> Come on. I wouldn't have guessed all the stuff we've just driven up through. This would be the spot that was going to get us like this. Oh, and the little bush held on for us, but we're kind of jammed in here. Like I was talking about, front tire blocked and back tire on another step. Gonna have to like... Oh, there you go. Kinda. Okay, if we can get past this, we can get past it. And there we go. Little back roll and floor it. Right now we're up very top of the mountain threw in a little lake I don't know how realistic it is but once I get some camp spots and stuff up here I think it's gonna be kind of a nice little RP spot to kind of try to make it all the way up the mountain again I gotta say it all the time but I really wish we could drag a little trailer along with us just be that much more fun and challenging doesn't even have to be useful just a trailer Go we'll have a look off. This is a very big cliff. I think it's taller than the one in Beaver Creek. Why not? It gives kind of a cool feel. It's expeditions, right? Explore, make you feel like you're way up there. Cool. Here we are. Well, the update's on its way out if you haven't seen it yet. And uh, we're getting real close. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon.